The NTSP came about uh, following personal experience of a tracheostomy emergency when I was training in intensive care. When I got out of that situation, I started talking to my colleagues about had similar things happen to them. And almost everyone I talked to had a horror story about being involved in a tracheostomy emergency. And we realised quite quickly that this was quite a common thing, particularly for trainees in anaesthesia, intensive care and ENT. People were being put in positions looking after patients with tracheostomies, laryngectomies, and they didn't have the training, expertise, confidence and competence uh, to safely care for them. And that was mainly due to a lack of appropriate resources. So when we were trying to understand what the problems were of the tracheostomies, we did some work with the National Patient Safety Agency where we looked at reported critical incidents that had happened with airways and tracheostomies in particular, and it became clear that it was a national problem. So we started by publishing the first multidisciplinary uh, tracheostomy and laryngectomy emergency algorithms, but then have expanded to uh, develop resources and information for, for staff and for patients to try and stop those emergencies from happening in the first place. And more recently, we've moved into trying to improve the quality of care such as addressing issues around communication and vocalisation and swallowing. Tracheostomy care is, is a multidisciplinary game. What we can see is by collaborating and working together, we, we can try and influence the care of, of, of many patients uh, in this country and beyond, and that's incredibly rewarding.